I recently got an, an argument with a chap about television design. Um, and it started out with the announcement of Panasonic announcing that they were going to end their plasma television. Now, I'm myself, I prefer a plasma television. I think the uh, picture quality is superior to pretty much everything else you can get. But I can understand the reason for it. And I'm going to kind of try and give you a little idea here as to why I think... Uh, plasma's days are numbered and why LCD or the newer generation of LCD which is LED backlit LCD still the same television it's still an LCD panel it's just the type of lighting it uses but why I think LCD will be the future and not plasma and we're going to show you the reasons why I think this is going to happen it all boils down to economics so what we're looking at here is we're an LCD television made by Samsung that was brought into my shop for repair and we're going to look at the guts of it and compare it to the guts of a plasma set. In this case it's an LG but it's the plasma. Shall we take a look? As we remove the back we'll see that the, the television has essentially uh, three main circuit boards. The circuit board on the left is the power supply. Over to the right of the power supply is the signal board and there's also a, what's called a TCON board or an LVDS board at the top of the screen. That's the board that actually drives the panel. And uh, over to the right, there's an input-output board just for the, the jacks on the right side of the uh, set. But this is the, the layout of a, of a basic LCD set. This one's based on fluorescent backlighting. So it, ha it has a lot of uh, higher voltage components to drive the fluorescent lamps. The LED sets are much simpler, and I think you'll find that most of them are down to maybe two boards at most now. But this is your basic LCD set that are covered by shields. We'll open those shields and take a look at what goes on. Okay, now that we've removed the shield from the power supply board, this is the signal board. This is where your uh, your audio video processing takes place and switching. This has got your HDMI inputs and component and composite inputs, VGA input, etc., etc and some more inputs over here. This is the switching and logic board where all the video switching and everything is done. This other little board under the shield here, this is the LCD driver. This board here is actually what we refer to as the TCON board or LVDS. LVDS stands for Low Voltage Differential Signaling and it's just a uh, interface board that interfaces the uh, liquid crystal display uh, panel with the uh, rest of the circuitry. Okay, now we're looking at the inside of a plasma set. Pretty scary, huh? A lot of circuit boards in there. A lot of cost to manufacture. We zoom in here on the power supply board. This power supply delivers the, 100, delivers the 180 and the 65 volts required by the plasma panel. Over to the left, we've got the Y sustain board and that little board along the edge with all those connectors on it. That's called the Y driver board that drives the um, plasma panel. As we pan the camera down, this is the X driver board. So we've got an X that controls the panel one direction and the Y controls it the other way. And over to the right, there it is, the XR as they call it. And this one here is the Z sustain board. The Z sustain board controls the actual brightness of the panel itself. Um, but that's not all. We also have the input-output board, which is controls the, the input and output from your, your uh, inputs and outputs and your tuner. And below this, this is the control board. This is the equivalent of the TCON board in an LCD set. Uh, it processes a signal for the panel. So there you have it. Um, the plasma set is a very complex piece of equipment by comparison to an LCD. Costs much more to manufacture. Now you can see why plasma is on its way out.